The images that you see on your screen right now are from the Facebook headquarters. This is where the Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, is at the moment. He's arrived just a few moments back. And in about 10 minutes from now, perhaps a little longer, Mr. Modi will be able, will be addressing uh, perhaps uh, millions of people around the world on Facebook. He'll be taking questions from thousands of people. Uh, uh, there's a great sense of, of excitement over there. Uh, Mr. Modi has just entered uh, the Facebook headquarters to be part of a town hall where um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, will also be attending. So we're going to come back to that in just a few moments from now. But as you can see over there, the entourage of the Prime Minister arriving uh, at the Facebook uh, headquarters in just a little while from now. Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, is going to be taking uh, the Prime Minister onto a stage where he's going to be addressing lots of people around the world. We are told that the Prime Minister will also be taking questions, uh, people taking photographs with the Prime Minister uh, as he made his way to Facebook. This is uh, one of the highlights of his two-day visit to Silicon Valley. Uh, the Prime Minister was also uh, very, very, uh, had a very, very successful visit earlier on in the day when he met uh, the CEOs of, uh, of global IT majors, many of whom uh, for example, leaders at Qualcomm, leaders at Microsoft, leaders uh, in Google uh, promised to bring to India state-of-the-art technology, often for no cost at all in the process of helping India develop economically and develop uh, socially. Uh, in this part of his visit, the Prime Minister uh, will be involved in what he has uh, described um, as his effort to reach out and recognize the importance of, uh, of the social media. Um, he's spoken ex extensively about this earlier on in the day as well. Let's just go straight across to NDTV's Nidhi Razdan, who joins us from Facebook headquarters. Nidhi, what's happening around you? Well, this is the Prime Minister is expected here any minute now, and uh, I think in just under 10 minutes, uh, the uh, event is going to get underway, this town hall here. It's a completely packed hall. Uh, where mostly we understand there are, you know, employees of Facebook, their uh, friends and relatives who are here, some people uh, who have been flown in from other parts of the U.S. Uh, who had submitted questions for this event uh, and uh, uh, perhaps from other parts of the world as well. So the Prime Minister, I think, is going to be here any moment now. Interestingly, uh, Facebook employees uh, and, and the media also got an email uh, saying that the dress code for today's event was going to be very formal and actually, you know, uh, in Silicon Valley and in California in general, and Facebook in particular, it, uh, it's been known to be far more laid back and relaxed. People just come to work in jeans and shorts. Mark Zuckerberg is famous uh, for hating suits and ties. Uh, so one of the things that people are talking about is whether he's going to uh, end up uh, wearing a nice suit and tie as well uh, while he meets Prime Minister Modi. So that will be uh, some uh, fun little bit of trivia to watch out for. Uh, but in a few minutes now, Vishnu, this town hall will get underway. Uh, about 45 minutes to an hour is the expected duration uh, in which uh, the Prime Minister is expected to take a number of questions uh, that have come to Facebook over the last few weeks when the town hall was announced. So, Nidhi, do we have any details now on what the structure of the event is? Well, Vishnu, like I said, it's meant to be a, a q and A. I I think there will be some remarks uh, that will be made uh, by Prime Minister, by Mark Zuckerberg, before it's opened up to question and answer. Uh, how those questions have been shortlisted is not clear. We understand that there were thousands and thousands of questions that came in uh, pretty much from the word go, uh, from the moment Mark Zuckerberg put up a Facebook post announcing that the Prime Minister would be doing this. Uh, so uh, what uh, you know, processes that they have involved to filter those is not, is not known, but uh, uh, certainly we understand that there are some people who have been flown in after their question has been chosen uh, so that they can ask uh, the Prime Minister uh, their desired question. And uh, like I said, about 45 minutes to an hour is the allotted time here. Uh, so it will be quite, uh, quite a substantively long uh, Q&A. And what happens after the Facebook event? He, uh, I believe, travels to uh, the Google campus. What's the, what's, uh, what is his itinerary there? Well, Vishnu, that's right. Uh, the Prime Minister then moves on to the Google headquarters, uh, which, uh, where he's going to be meeting Sundar Pichai, interacting with employees there. And an, an important announcement expected there today of uh, Google setting up free Wi-Fi in 500 Indian radio stations, something the Prime Minister spoke of in his speech last night and will actually formally be announced when he visits the Mountain View headquarters of the big tech giant. Uh, he'll also be addressing a, a conference of Indian and American startups later in the day. 
uh, before he then moves on uh, to uh, hold his big speech for the Indian diaspora, for the Indian community here in San Jose uh, at, a, at a local stadium. Uh, the seating capacity of that stadium, Vishnu, is about 18,000. Uh, but from uh, what we understand, the organizers say some 45,000 people uh, wanted to uh, sign up for the event. So they, they are planning to set up giant screens outside uh, so that people can watch. So that, of course, is... Uh, now become a familiar sight now with, uh, with Prime Minister Modi when he travels abroad. He makes a conscious attempt uh, to reach out to the Indian community and uh, to, in a sense, um, uh, to, to address them. And, and uh, it's, it's certainly a part of, of yeah. his, his style of diplomacy when he travels. So that is how he will cap his trip here in San Jose before he flies back to New York to meet with President Obama tomorrow. I think uh, there may be an interesting announcement, we're not too sure at the moment, of a possible Air India flight between uh, Bangalore and, and the west coast of the United States. There was a buzz and expectation that perhaps that flight uh, may be announced by the Prime Minister. Have you got any indication of that at all? Well, there have been reports to that effect, Vishnu. This would actually, if it is announced, be the longest, I think the longest uh, uh, flight in the world, about 18 hours or so. Uh, at the moment, uh, you know, India, I Indians who come here normally come via Europe or Dubai. Uh, those are the most popular routes. Uh, and, and uh, you know, uh, there is really no direct flight. It's also the fact that it is, it is an extremely, extremely long route uh, if it is one. So there has been some speculation to this effect, some reports to this effect. Uh, and uh, we, ha we just have to wait and see if the Prime Minister uh, does actually announce that. And certainly it would be symbolic if he does. Uh, given the links between Bangalore and Silicon Valley that are often spoken of here, and if there is a direct flight that's announced, uh, that would certainly take that a step further.